Hello, Internet. Welcome to Jamil Geral. I am Jamil Silva. And uh, in this episode, I will try to explain the menu from Nikon D750. Actually, I will split this video in many episodes because uh, the menu system is quite long. So, let's start. Let's start with the playback menu and I'll try to explain what each part does. Um, you must have seen a, a video that I recorded about the external controls of the camera and uh, because many of the options that we have here in the menu you can actually uh, perform using the external controls. Well, the, the, first, the, the, the first part is the playback menu. The first option that we have here is delete. It's quite simple. You, if you press OK, I will have options. The first one is to select. If I press here, I will have the pictures that, that are stored in this camera and I can select pictures to be deleted. If I want to come back, I can come back here, I press menu again and let's go to deletion. Uh, now, I can also select by date. If I press OK, I will have files divided by dates and then I can delete all the date, uh, the pictures that I took and all the dates. I just press here to mark and, I, and then I press OK to confirm. If, if I press OK, I will delete all the files in this uh, token during this day, but I don't want that. Let's press here again to unmark it and let's, let's go back to uh, menu. Now you can also all, you can delete all the pictures that you have here in the memory card. Well, um, you, have, you have this option, so to, this option to press here and here. I've, I've taught you that in a, in a, in a previous episode, you, you, you do that. But I'm not going to keep uh, uh, saying that this control does that, because I already, had, already have a video talking about external controls. The next one is playback folder. The playback folder is where your pictures are stored in. Uh, this is where the camera will retrieve them to show you. If you press OK, you're going to have options. And for uh, Nikon D750 is the camera. Um, here and all uh, are uh, absolutely almost the same. If you let it there, it means that once you start, you press play, you're going to see all the pictures that are stored in the camera. If you press all, you, you, you're going to uh, see all the pictures and if you press current um, you will see the pictures that are in the current folder because you can uh, add folders to the camera and then you can see the pictures that are stored in that folder. I will explain this folder uh, later on. Now let's go back to the, the option hide image. To hide an image you can press OK and, and then you have the option select and, and set. Now you're going to select the picture that you want to hide and press uh, here to set the magnifying glass. Now it's set and then you press OK to confirm. As I don't want to do that, I will uncheck here and I will not do anything. Now let's go back to middle. Uh, you, you can also select by date. You can hide pictures from a, a, a specific date. For example, this morning I took a, a picture uh, of my family and then I don't want to show this to anybody. Then I come here and I will hide it. To hide from the day, to, the, from, to hide the pictures in a specific date, we have options down here to confirm. Let's, let's go there again. You, uh, not here, you, oh, here, let's come back. Okay, I'll hide the picture select my date, I press here to select the option and if I want to confirm I will press the minus button, the minus button, magnifying less and here I select and once it's selected, it's selected here, I press OK and then it's good, I will not press OK because I don't want to hide this folder taken at this time and date. Now let's press here again to Unmark it, and now it's unmarked. Now let's go back. To go back, I keep pressing here. Okay, now let's go to Playback Display Options. 
let's press here. In the playback display options, you have uh, here the, the information in the picture. For example, here I have marked focus point, none on the image. I can see only the image and highlight. Highlights, uh, RGB is not checked, shooting data is not checked, and overview is not checked. Well, let's see how it works. To, to uh, select an option, I will go here, this bottom, and then I press OK to confirm. If I don't do that, no. If I don't do that, it will not uh, be marked. Well, let's see how it works. For example, now this picture is not good, I need uh, this is OK. Here I have the picture, just the picture. Uh, remember that I checked just the picture. If I go down here, now I have the focus point, to, uh, which was the first option that I checked. Now the second option is, is that the highlight. Can you see here we have R, G, B. R for red, G for green, and B for blue. Blue is blinking and is blinking in the picture. It means that the, blue, the, the color blue in the picture the picture is blinking because it's over. It can be overexposed or underexposed. Uh, it can mean something like that. Well, let's go back here. If you want to see if the color uh, a G for green is okay, let's press because we have the option here to select. Let's select the color G. I moved here. Now G is blinking. Uh, Seems that we have a little bit of green checking down there, uh, back there. Now let's go to to. R, which is for red, I press here the magnifying glass. If you don't remember, we have the option here to show you. And let's go here now. R is blinking as I don't have, I just have a little little bit of red in this picture and it, it is not blinking. Now let's go back here to play back display options. If you want the other options, let's mark RGB histogram. You go here. Now let's mark shooting data and let's mark an overview. Now let's press OK to confirm. Now let's go back, let's play. Let's press play to see the picture. Now we have the, the picture. Uh, actually, RGB, it's in RGB mode. Let's go to now the picture because I selected an option that uh, is only the picture. Now the other option is the focus point. The camera will show you where the focus point is. Now the, the, the highlights for RGB, red, green and blue. Now the information uh, divided by colors, well, it's almost the same, but here it's, you have the, uh, a histogram and you can see uh, which specific color is under or overexposed. You can also select, if you select, you will go, for example, blue, blue is blinking back there. Okay, and uh, I press it down here, now I have the information because uh, I don't know if you remember, I selected the shooting options, the shoot information. Now here we have all the information about the picture that I took. Now and finally, this is the, the overview. Here I have the picture, uh, uh, an overview histogram, uh, an overview of all the information that I took from the picture. And if I keep pressing, I will come back to the picture, the focus point and so on and so forth. Now, the next option is copy images. As you can see, this option is not available because I, I only have one card in this camera. Uh, there are two slot cards uh, in this camera, but now I have just one card. And as I have one card, uh, it's not going to be possible to copy pictures from one card to the other. I can copy from a card one to card two or card to, to card one, uh, I, I, I can choose and I can also copy movies and pictures. The next option is image review. If I press OK, I have options off and on. I like to leave it off because if you let this option on, every time you take the picture, uh, it will pop up on this screen. And uh, I think this is not nice because uh, it, it will eat your battery very fast, it will consume more battery and uh, especially if you, if you are working at night and uh, you are in the dark and every time you take the picture you, you will see that brightness in your eyes so I don't like to review every picture that I take so if I want to review a picture I just press play and I can see it very fast and I don't need to do that to every picture 
Now the next option is after delete. What do you want to happen after deletion? If we press OK, we have the options. Show next. It means that if you delete picture number 10, it will move to number 11. If you go to, if you, uh, uh, if you mark the option show previews, it means that if you delete one picture, the next one is going to be the previous picture. And uh, continue as before, if you delete a picture, it will just say, it, uh, it's just it stay, it stay uh, the same. Rotate tall. It's uh, when you want to the camera to rotate a picture that will take to take away with the camera in a, in, a, in a vertical or horizontal position. If you go to OK, you choose on. Now the, the pictures will be uh, rotated. The camera will do that, which which I don't like that because when you when you take a picture in, a, in another position. The, the picture will take just a small portion of this monitor and I don't think this is good because you want to see just a small picture even though you take a picture and you can see in a, in a, uh, uh, using all this monitor even though it's cooked I, I think it's better this way, you can see the whole image but in order for that option to work you also have to come here to set up menu auto rotate, auto image rotation and turn this on once you turn this on, that option will work. Now let's go back there. After rotate all, we have a slideshow. If I press OK, we have start. Pressing start, you will start seeing all the pictures that you have in the picture in a slideshow. You can also set up this uh, camera to a TV using an HDMI cable, and then you, you, you're going to see those pictures here on a, on a monitor. Now let's go back to the menu. Uh, we also can uh, choose uh, what kind of files do you want to be uh, shown in a slideshow. You can, for example, choose which is already uh, chosen here, still images and movies. And uh, you, can also, uh, you can also choose only uh, still images, only your pictures. And you can also choose movies. Of course, movies are, are not uh, available because I don't have any movie recorded here in this camera. Now, uh, frame interval, if you press OK, you're going to uh, choose uh, how many seconds you want the, the, the picture to be on here on the, the screen for 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 5 or 10 seconds. OK. Uh, uh, DPOF, print order, is uh, an option that you're going to use to print pictures directly from this camera which I, I, I don't see much of a point in this because I, I don't think you, you're going to buy a certain expensive camera like this to uh, print a picture that direct. Maybe you, you, you will, maybe not, but I think most of the time this is going to be an option that uh, most... Uh, I, I don't think you're going to use this option because you want to use your computer, you're going to you're gonna, uh, 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 edit the picture first and you're going to have more options in the computer maybe uh, for an emergency or something like that, but I don't see uh, myself using this option. Okay, I think this is it for now. This was the playback menu. And uh, uh, then our next episode, we're gonna talk about the photo shooting menu. And I hope you see in this episode. See you in this episode, bye.